Grade 6 Math, number 9.2b, more integer addition. Okay, this is for people who still need a little bit more guidance. So as we talked about in 9.2, the additive inverse of a number is its opposite. When we add a negative 2 to a positive 2, it gets us to 0. If we have a positive 2 and we add a negative 2, that's going to get us to 0, okay? P pardon my sloppy handwriting there. So if we're at negative 2 and we add 2, 1, 2, that's going to get us to 0. And if we have a positive 2 and we, take, we add a negative 2, 1, 2, that's going to get us to 0. The sum of a number in its additive inverse is 0. See? If we have a negative 1 and we add 1, it gets us to 0. It's like they cancel each other out. Negative 5 plus 5 gets us back to 0. If we have a positive 5 and we add a negative 5, that's going to get us back to 0. Those are zero pairs, see? They're additive inverse, okay? If we have a positive 1, right here on the number line, we're on this side of the 0 of the number line, and we put, we add a negative 4 to it, we're going to end up with a negative 3. We're at a positive 1, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the negative, we're going to be at negative 3, all right? Because we're already on this side of the zero of the number line at the 1. So when we do the negative 4, it's going to bring us back to negative 3. See that? So let's we're going to use chips this time. In the last video, we used the number lines, and we used my building hills and digging holes. Now we're going to do chips. The green ones are positive, and the red ones are negative. So for this equation right here, we've got 1 positive, and we're adding 4 negative. What happens is this positive and this negative one cancel each other out, and we're left with three negative chips. See? Three negative. All right? Did you get that? We're going to keep going. I hope you understand. All right. We're at negative 2 on the number line. See? We're below 0, and we're going to add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's going to get us to a positive 3. All right? So we have two negative chips, and we're adding five positive chips. These cancel each other out and we're left with three positive chips. See? We've got two negative chips, and we're adding four negative chips. That's going to get us six negative chips. We're at negative two on the number line. See, we're on this side of the zero, and we're adding another negative four. One, two, three, four is going to get us to a negative six. None of them cancel each other out because we're adding negatives to negatives. See that? We're just getting more of them. All right, this is like the kindergarten first grade math. 4 plus 2 equals 6. A positive 4 plus a positive 2 is going to be a positive 6. We're at positive 4 on the number line, so we're on this side of the 0. We're going to add 2, and it's going to get us to 6. We've got 4 positive chips. We add 2 more positive chips. we get 6 positive chips. When we've got 7 positive chips, and we add 2 negative ones, it brings us to a positive 5. See? These cancel each other out, and we're left with five positive chips. When we've got negative five, see, here's the zero. We're on this side of the number, zero of the number line, and we add three, one, two, three, it gets us to negative two. The three was not big enough to get us past the zero, see? So we're still in the negative. So we've got five negative chips, we add three positive ones, they cancel each other out, and we're still at two negative chips. See that? Okay. This is the additive inverse and the zero pairs. We're at negative 3 on the number line. See, we're down here on this to the left of the zero, and we're going to add 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's going to make us back at zero. See? The negative and positive chips cancel each other out, so we're back at zero. Okay? That's the additive inverse. So whether you use a number line or my hills and holes, like we did in video 9.2, or if you use the positive and negative chips, these will help you add positive and negative numbers, okay? So just remember, when you don't see a sign in front of the number, there's an invisible plus sign in front of it that it's positive, okay? I hope this was helpful. I hope you understood, okay? Keep trying. Keep up the good work. We're going to talk about adding integers in the next video and the rules for adding integers, okay? See you there. Bye.